Hi, in this video I'm going to be going over how I made my homemade QEV rifle or gun. Um, just going over some of the parts I used to make it and then I'll be doing a quick firing demo shooting a plastic valve stem cover. This is completely unmodified, it's hollow on the inside, it's very lightweight. Um, so yeah, we'll be going over that. So why don't we take a look at my gun, and I will tell you a little bit about it. This is the gun in its entirety, and I will go over the parts that I used to make it. And there's my cap. Anyway, this isn't uh, fully completed yet. In fact, I've made quite a few modifications to it since uh, I originally built it. But at some point, I hope to completely get rid of this plastic housing that houses the trigger slash pilot and build a custom wood stock for it as well as just make it a little slimmer, make it a little better looking. But let's get down to uh, what this is actually made out of. So here we go. This is a pressure washer handle rated at 3000 PSI. I got this from Fleet Farm. Uh, that's here in the Midwest. It's also known as uh, Farm and Fleet. Uh, if you don't have one of those around you, which you probably don't if you're not in the Midwest, uh, I would think that Lowe's or Home Depot would have that available as well. So this is acting both as a trigger uh, slash pilot. Then to the business end, we have a 9 ounce chromoly CO2 tank. I'm no longer using CO2 in it. I am now using uh, compressed air. Uh, the pin valve which was in it is no longer in there. I unscrewed this valve and took out the pin and then drilled the fitting out to half inch so it's no longer extremely restrictive. This green part here is a paintball ASA. Uh, originally it had this knob in the back there and then it also had this pin on the inside so what would happen is you would screw this in and it would push this pin forward into the pin valve and release the CO2. Um, I got rid of both of those because firstly I didn't need them because I didn't have a pin valve anymore and secondly they were restricting the flow of air into the QEV. Um, this eighth inch NPT fitting was originally there. This side here was originally an eighth inch NPT. I ended up tapping that out to quarter inch NPT to give it better flow into the QEV and that helped a lot. Getting rid of all those restrictions really uh, helped this thing go quite a bit better. Um, this fitting here is a 3000 PSI rated hydraulic fitting and this is self-closing. Um, this uh, I needed it self-closing due to the fact that I'm filling through the chamber. Uh, normally in the QEV you'd fill from the pilot, which honestly you could still do. I could put this, I'd have to close this off, uh, but I could put this fitting into here and then fill by pulling the trigger and then filling it up and then uh, releasing it. Uh, however, I, you would have to have a non-self-closing fitting because it would need to vent out of there, but uh, I'm getting kind of off topic here. So this is a 3 8 inch NPT quick exhaust valve or QEV. Um, I got this one from Fastenal. Uh, Granger also carries them. Uh, eBay has them as well and they have really cheap uh, Chinese uh, square valves as well which I've never used but I'm, I know they work fine. I just wanted uh, something local so I grabbed that. Um, in order to make this fill from the chamber normally like I said you'd fill from the pilot side. Uh, you'd fill and pilot from from this uh, P side. What I had to do is I put a spring behind the uh, valve inside there and then I also had to drill a tiny hole uh, as a equalization hole through the valve itself uh, so that I can fill it from there. Uh, then under here I have a quick connect fitting to a three foot long half inch stainless steel barrel and that's pretty much the gist of it. Alright, so here's what I'm going to be firing into. It's just, like I said, an Arizona can filled with water. Uh, behind it I've got a backstop. Uh, it's just a probably eighth inch piece of plywood there. 
uh, two AC condensing radiators and then some thicker uh, wood there just to kind of stop anything that may go through. Uh, like I said, I've been shooting that with steel ball bearings, so uh, I don't think that this plastic valve stem cap is going to go, might, it probably won't even go through the can, I wouldn't think. Uh, it'll definitely puncture it, but I think the water will slow it down. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, find out. Alright, I'm more or less lined up for the shot here. It's going to be a little bit difficult to do with only uh, one hand here, but I'll give it my best shot. And uh, there we are, looking down the barrel, and I'm going to fire in 3, 2, 1... And there's the damage. Um, crazily enough, it actually just dented the can pretty severely, uh, but didn't actually even puncture it. Uh, I guess the force of the water acting out on the can was even a little bit more than I thought. But yeah, that'll be the video for today. So, hope you enjoyed it. I'll have more soon. Thanks.